This is a quick introduction to the DPO component feature that enables you to create your own sections and categories that apply to a complete purchase order. Some of our clients make use of the component features to track job numbers, payment options, or delivery methods. You can even include predefined delivery addresses. To customize your own component structure, please go to the Admin section and select the tab PO Components. You will find a box to set up your component structure at the bottom of the page. First, you need to create a section by clicking the plus button on the right. Let's name the section Job Numbers. Once this is done, you can edit your section preferences by clicking on the pen button in the second row. Here, you can create either a subcategory name, or if not needed, leave the label field blank. In the next step, you need to decide which field type works best for you. You have the option between a checkbox, a radio button, or a drop-down box. You even have the option to create date or text fields. In our example, it makes the most sense to stick to a drop-down field. The next element to add is the values that will show up in the drop-down fields. You can populate this information in the Values section at the bottom. Simply implement your job number IDs, for example, one by one. Finally, you can activate several checkboxes within your component setup. If you check the first box here, DPO won't show the users the complete drop-down list, but will narrow the choices as they start typing. This makes sense if you have a large number of values in your drop-down list. Secondly, you can make this component a required field. This way, you will ensure that all purchase orders will be connected to a corresponding component. You can also include the component in the DPO preview. The DPO preview is this box in the View section here. If you would like to see the component values without opening the detailed view, then you need to activate the box Include in PO Preview. If you activate the last checkbox, Show as Filter List, DPO will list your component in the sidebar of the Purchase Order View section. That gives you the possibility to filter POs per component and review the corresponding accumulated net total for pending or final approved purchase orders. Once you complete the setup, you can create your next purchase order. You will find your component fields in the second tab. Once the purchase order has been finalized, you can also review the component information on the actual purchase order PDF document. By the way, if you're not happy with the display location of the components, DPO can also move the component display to the upper left or right box of the purchase order PDF file. The only thing you need to do is adjust the corresponding component setting here. If you have further questions, please send us an email at support at digitalpurchaseorder.com or give us a call at 1-888-376-7254. We can also arrange a demo appointment with you. Simply contact us via email and we will schedule a call at your earliest convenience. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please also check our other video tutorials on the main tutorial page.